from Wish TV and the All Indiana Podcast Network. This is the News 8 Daily 8 Podcast. A Wish TV News 8 update. Hi, this is Hannah Mordo, and this is your News 8 Daily for Monday, August 5th. Today, it's going to be another hot one. We're going to get to the mid-90s. Could feel like the triple digits. A lot of humidity out there. And while we have sunshine, you may see some haze from wildfire smoke from uh, the West Coast. It's up in the air. It is not an air hazard for any of us. Uh, Could see a chance of rain pop up here or there, but it is mostly unlikely. Temp check. What kind of summer are we having this year? A family road trip summer, a beach bum summer, or a wake me up when the sun sets summer? With Instacart, choose your own adventure and skip the shopping side quests. Where available, you can get ice cream delivered to your hotel, sunscreen to the pool, or cold brew to your bed. Well, door, in as fast as 30 minutes. Wherever you find yourself this summer, you can get the goods. Download Instacart for free delivery on your first three orders. Offer valid for a limited time. Time. Minimum $10 per order. Excludes restaurants. Additional terms and fees apply. Achieving a gorgeous grin from home isn't a total mystery with Bite Clear Aligners. Just don't be surprised if all of your sleuthing friends start asking, what's your secret? Begin by ordering your at-home impression kit today for only $14.95. Bite Clear Aligners are doctor-directed and delivered to your door. Treatment costs thousands less than braces. Plus, they offer flexible financing, accept eligible insurance, and you can pay with your HSA FSA. Get 80% off your impression kit when you use code WONDERY at Byte.com. That's B-Y-T-E dot com. Start your confidence journey today with Byte. Hurricane Debbie has officially made landfall in Florida this morning as a Category 1 storm dumping rain as it moves through. Indiana Task Force 1 is now headed to South Carolina to help with the search and rescue. 48 members of the task force left from Indianapolis last night. The team includes first responders from 17 public safety agencies across the state and 15 civilian members. One leader tells News 8 they plan to deal with flooding and high winds. Uh, We're taking all of our boats. We'll have all of our other equipment in case there's any flood inundation to buildings. Uh, Obviously, we can do shoring, we can do rescue and and collapse structures and those kinds of things. Uh, But primarily focus on this will be for uh, swift water or flood inundated uh, operations. The team is expected to be gone for 7 to 14 days. Debbie was upgraded to a Category 1 hurricane overnight as it approached the Gulf Coast in Florida. After decades of planning and construction, the I-69 finish line is almost here. NDOT says the final portion of the interstate connecting Indianapolis and Martinsville is scheduled to officially open tomorrow. News 8's Hernan Gutierrez is at the new interchange at I-69 and 465 on the southwest side and spoke to an expert about the impact this will have on the state. Well, aside from cutting down your commute time, the opening of I-69 has the potential of adding billions of dollars to the region's economy. At least that's according to a professor at IU's Kelly School of Business. He says it all boils down to the age-old adage that time is money. We're known as a crossroads of America. We've just added another link in that story. Originally developed to support trade between Canada, the United States, and Mexico in the North American Free Trade Agreement, I-69 in Indiana is almost complete. INDOT projects over the next 20 years, the connection will bring $4.1 billion to the area. Phil Powell, a professor at IU's Kelly School of Business, says much of the economic impact is generated by cutting down drive times. If you're running a trucking company, you're a plumber company in Indianapolis, and you, you serve the whole region... You know, 10 to 15 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're driving dozens of trucks or dozens of vans, that adds up over time. Powell adds the interstate could also create a residential boom in Johnson and Morgan counties. The commute time was just too long to work, to live there and and drive to downtown. Well, now that's changed. Bargersville has this great exit on I-69. Construction of this last portion was dubbed the Finish Line Project. It started in 2019 near Martinsville. According to Governor Eric Holcomb, it's three years ahead of schedule. A long time coming. It's going to get there. Again, there was a lot of um, patience required, but it will be better when it's done. Powell says once construction on I-465 wraps up, congestion on the southwest side of town should die down, adding a psychological impact to the mix. As Hoosiers, like anybody else, we value time. And when places are more accessible, 
we're going to be happier, less stressed, and we can make more money. According to Governor Holcomb's office, tomorrow local and state leaders will gather to celebrate the completion of the I-69-465 interchange. That includes former Governor and Vice President Mike Pence. INDOT says that you might still notice some construction around the area. There's still some work to do here near the interchange. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Hernan Gutierrez for HTV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates. Breaking news, an overnight shooting critically wounds a man on the west side of Indianapolis. It happened just after 1 this morning along Michigan Street near Concord. Police on scene tell our crew that officers found a man shot on the front porch of a home. Medics took him to Eskenazi Hospital in critical condition. Police say the owners of the house are cooperating with the investigators. So far, police have not said what led up to the shooting or named any suspects. Police are trying to figure out the age of either a woman or a girl found dead with trauma injuries on the city's east side. IMPD officers responded to the death investigation at the intersection of East 34th Street and Shadeland Avenue at around 3.30 yesterday afternoon. That's an area with businesses nearby. Investigators did not say what led up to her death or if they have a suspect. Police are asking anyone with information to contact the homicide unit at 317-312-3475 or call Crime Stoppers. IFD says four firefighters hurt on their way to a fatal crash should recover. The first wreck happened late Saturday morning at 30th and Mass Ave. It left one person dead, and we're working to learn that victim's name. IFD says the second crash happened just east of the first when two fire trucks on the emergency run tried to pass a wide load. One made it, the other tipped over. The department says none of the injuries are life-threatening. As soon as today, Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to announce her running mate. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is among the possible candidates, but he's staying tight-lipped about the role. News 8's government reporter Garrett Burquist caught up with the former South Bend mayor as Buttigieg toured a plant in Kokomo. Buttigieg would not answer any questions about his future, though he still plugged the Biden-Harris' administration's investments. You know, there's been a lot of talk that came uh, to this region and regions like it over the years. But nobody in my lifetime has followed through from Washington the way that this administration has. And the focus on American manufacturing, American-made products, and American workers has characterized this administration and delivered big results. Under President Biden and Vice President Harris, the U.S. has created nearly 800,000 manufacturing jobs, uh, which is especially impressive when you consider that just under the previous administration, we lost manufacturing jobs and experienced a manufacturing recession. Uh, But what I've seen here is not just the volume of manufacturing, but the quality of it, Uh, the sophistication and the advancement, which is part of why uh, the skills of our union workers and the skills being cultivated at an institution like Ivy Tech in partnership with our schools is so important. And it's great to see the jobs that are being created even before that facility is fully up and running. Uh, with uh, uh, with the, the good building trades, uh, trades jobs that are going to get that ready. Those jobs and then, of course, the jobs uh, that will be created at the facility itself aren't just making batteries. They are making livelihoods. They represent presence under the tree. They represent uh, education for kids. They represent uh, cars and trucks in the driveway for so many families in this area. Is there anything you can say about your future? <laughs> Have you spoken with Vice President Harris? Yes. We're going to go to Allie yes. first, and then we'll take... All Indiana Politics airs every Sunday morning at 930, only on Wish TV. I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com. Or follow us on Facebook for updates. This is an anxious morning in the financial world. U.S. stock features are down sharply as markets around the world see major sell-offs. Japan's benchmark index dropped more than 12 percent today, the single biggest drop since 1987. Markets in Germany, Paris, and London are also down. Analysts say investors are worried about the weaker-than-expected jobs data in the U.S. that came out on Friday. It's stoking worries that the high interest rates might push the U.S. economy into a recession. The Federal Reserve has already indicated it might move forward with an interest rate cut next month now that inflation is cooling off. In Colts Watch, training camp hits the home stretch with three workouts this week before Sunday's preseason opener. Colts host the Broncos Sunday. Head coach Shane Steichen told our Sports 8 team that he's not yet decided whether starters will play and if so, how much. 
Breaking Olympics news this morning. Simone Biles will not medal on the beam. She fell off during her routine. She was more than halfway through this morning when she just slipped and ended up jumping off. She tied for fourth place with Suni Lee, who also fell off during her beam routine. Suni's Olympics are over at this point, but Biles will take on the floor final today where she is in the lead. A pair of Indiana swimmers are bringing home gold medals after the Paris Olympics. Evansville native and IU grad Lily King wrapped up her Olympic career on the winning 4x100 meter medley relay team. The team also set a world record in the win. It's the third career Olympic gold medal for King and her sixth Olympic medal overall. Carmel High School senior Alex Shackle also gets a gold medal for being a part of the team during prelims. Shackle also won a silver earlier in the games in the women's 4x200 meter freestyle relay team. The State Fair is closed today, then opens again Tuesday. Whenever you go, you'll see new and unusual food combinations. It is the fair. News 8's Kyla Russell grabbed a plate and headed to the fairgrounds. Some stick to the staples here at the State Fair, but for other foodies, it's all about the new eats. As the fun at the Midway gets underway, fairgoers are testing their taste buds. Whether you've got a sweet tooth or a hankering for something savory, there's sure to be a mouth-watering treat for you, with combinations only acceptable at the fair. We'll start not too far from the Coliseum at Margaritas on Main, where you'll find a taste of the tropics right here in Indiana. Cotton candy margarita is an Indiana original. It is uh, cotton candy. I take a piece of cotton candy. I pour some tequila over it. I pour some uh, triple sec, some margarita mix. I shake it up. I do it all. Then I put it in a cup with the sugar rim and a big old blob of cotton candy. And if you take a right, head down to a Yurik food stand. You'll find something with a little bit of both sweet and salty, the PB&J chicken wings. You heard that right. It's new this year and has been a controversial ad. One first-time taster had some thoughts. It's too much peanut butter. The jelly's good. It gives it like a sweet kind of flavor, but the texture with the peanut butter just isn't it. And if that's not cutting it, what is it they say? Life is short. Eat dessert first anyway. And for many, sugar runs the show. With a short walk over to the Baker Man, you'll find another first year favorite, the blueberry cheesecake stuffed elephant ear. So we take an elephant ear, roll it out like normal, just roll the dough out like you would an elephant ear. But before we throw it in the fryer, we lay a blueberry pie filling and a cream cheese cheesecake filling, fold it over and fry it. So it's basically like a dessert calzone. Trent came up with the idea like a true Hoosier while sitting in his trailer watching cars go by at the Indy 500. Another item synonymous with Hoosiers at the fair, the classic funnel cake, perfect for those that aren't feeling an out there flavor profile. King's Funnel Cake and Corn Dog Stand has you covered. They're always hot, they're always fresh, and they are covered in sugar. They are excellent. And if you haven't gotten a chance to try the new options, you've still got time all the way until August 18th. Reporting here in Indianapolis, I'm Kyla Russell for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates. This has been your News 8 Daily from Wish TV. I'm Hannah Mordo. Watch us on WishTV.com and follow us on Facebook for updates. If you're a new parent, a bad day means you either ran out of coffee, diapers, patience, or all of the above. Stocking up on cold brew and deep breaths are all you. Hello Bellow's got your baby's butt covered. Because Hello Bello believes all families deserve premium, affordable baby products. With their ultra-convenient diaper bundle subscription service that includes seven packs of diapers and four packs of plant-based wipes, you'll never run out of supplies. Better yet, they're delivered to your door. Set, change, and cancel your delivery schedule whenever you want. If you're a parent, your to-do list is longer than all your baby's wake windows combined. Let Hello Bello take care of diaper runs until you're done potty draining. It was named Best Diaper Subscription by New York Magazine and winner of the 2022 Good Housekeeping Parenting Award for a reason. Go to hellobello.com slash Wondery to get 30% off your first customized bundle and a full-size freebie product of your choice. That's hellobello.com slash Wondery to start bundling with 30% off your first order. Don't forget, that's hellobello.com slash Wondery. This is the News 8 Daily 8 Podcast, a Wish TV News 8 update on demand. For even more, on demand and on the go, connect with Wish TV on Facebook at wishtv.com and on the free Wish TV mobile app. Thank you for listening. And be sure to like, subscribe, and follow this podcast for updates every weekday morning on the All Indiana Podcast Network and wherever you get your podcast.